Pope Francis is in the Vatican's Paul VI Hall on Wednesday, August 30, 2023, for a weekly general audience. Pope Francis is traveling to Mongolia this week to serve in one of the smallest and smallest churches in the world. Newest Catholic Communities The first visit by a Roman priest to the East Asian country. His trip is a historical meeting of East and West officially. There are only 1,450 Catholics in Mongolia. And the Catholic Church has had a confirmed presence since 1992. When Mongolia shrugged off its Soviet-allied communist government. Vatican City when Pope Francis travels to Mongolia this week. In a way, it's 13th century Pope I.V., who sent envoys east to ascertain the intentions of rapidly expanding Mongolian Empire and plead with its leaders. He will have completed a task started by Innocentius. Stop the bloodshed and transform. These medieval exchanges between Roman Pope and the Mongol Khan were filled with warlike demands for surrender and conversion, which, according to surviving letter texts, both claimed to be acting in name of God. But at a time when Catholic Church was conducting crusades and the Mongol Empire was conquering lands as far west as Hungary which would become largest contiguous land empire in world history. These exchanges also showed mutual respect. Nearly 800 years later, Francis will not try new diplomatic waters or try to convert Mongolia's mostly Buddhist population. When he arrives in the capital, Ulaanbaatar, on Friday for a four-day visit, his trip is nonetheless a historical meeting of East and West. It is a Roman priest's first visit to Mongolia to serve one of the smallest, newest Catholic communities in the world. In a way, both sides moved on, said Christopher Atwood, professor of Mongolian and Chinese border and ethnic history at the University of Pennsylvania. Once it either or either world was ruled by Pope or world ruled by Mongol Empire. Now I think both sides are much more tolerant. Officially, there are only 1,450 Catholics in Mongolia. And the Catholic Church has had a sanctioned presence since 1992 after Mongolia shrugged its Soviet-allied communist government and glorified religious freedom in its constitution. Last year, Francis elevated reputation of the Mongol Church by making its leader. Italian missionary Giorgio Marengo, a cardinal. It is surprising to come to a country where the world is not known for its Catholicism, said Catholic Ugantetseg Tungalag, who works with Mother Teresa's philanthropy missions at a nursing home in the capital. When the Pope visits us, other countries will learn that it has been 30 years since Catholicism came to Mongolia. The Mongol Empire under its famous founder, Genghis Khan, was known for tolerating people of different faiths among the countries it conquered. And Francis will likely highlight the tradition of religious coexistence as he chairs an interfaith meeting on Sunday. After all, it was Kublai Khan, a descendant Genghis Khan, who gr.